Hello guys, Thieves here. In this video, I'll show you some basic tips for texturing round objects in Substance Painter by using the follow along path tool and radial symmetry. If you get any value from this video, view my guest and subscribe to my channel for more stylized content. Let's get started. I start the process of baking by setting the highest possible amount of rays on all tabs, disabling the ID section and setting subsampling to 4x4. My UVs have a resolution of 2K, are normalized and have their padding set to 8. Most vases that will be shown in this video use the same material I've shown you in my previous video that covered the process of texturing a stylized berry bush in a clay pot. They combine a default grunge with a blur slope that gives them this nice stylized chipped look. I start off by creating a paint layer, setting all of its blending options to pass through and using the clone stamp tool to conceal UV seams. We don't have to overextend here, the only thing we have to do is to break the visible seam line. Also I create another layer which is brighter than our main material and use it to highlight edges of our ways. Then I use clone stamp tool again to mask seams that become visible. You can achieve the same result by either using a default smart mask and playing around with its global balance, or by using the mask editor generator and playing around with its curvature settings. Once again, you don't have to paint some details here, and yet it is a great idea to break some unnatural straight lines that appear on seam lines. I duplicate my main material and give it a different tint, then mask it and apply a paint layer to it. I use my basic tablet to paint cartoony octopus here, but I'll show you some simple ways to create some basic vector drawings for your model as well. I enable a lazy mouse on top contextual toolbar for both paint tool and eraser tool to draw smooth lines. I duplicate my main material again, give it a brighter color, mask it and use a follow along pass tool to highlight external edges of my octopus drawing. Remember to give it a high brush hardness. I create another layer and use a bordered circle brush alpha to paint some improvised suction things. The paint along pass tool allows you to retain full control of your brush settings and also your material settings, which is absolutely great for tuning things and for drawing vector images. I create multiple uneven lines to give my vase a more naive cartoony look. I draw some spiral tentacle patterns here with my brush while having a lazy mouse setting enabled. I try to make these decorative patterns look more like the octopus itself. Finally, I highlight each uneven line with thin bright lines. Some objects require radial symmetry, which is enabled in the upper contextual toolbar. I enable it, make Substance Painter show me its axis and set the amount of symmetrical objects I want to create. You may also specify an angle between them. Once again I use the follow along path tool to create a vector circle. Just like any other brush, it gets affected and cloned by a radial symmetry option. Smaller circles are made by using a bordered circle brush alpha. I use the symmetry tool again to create simple wave pattern. Obviously I increase the amount of added objects. You can always edit symmetrical objects and even change settings of your masked materials. All of these tools allow you to retain full control of your assets. I keep using radial symmetry and only change the amount of objects it reflects. This way I create all sorts of ornaments. The next octopus is created by only using the follow along pass tool for its body, tentacles and also their border highlights. I draw sharp tips for each tentacle by using my tablet with lazy mouse setting enabled. 
Thanks for watching guys. If you got any value from this video, be my guest and subscribe to my channel for more stylized content. And most importantly, have a great day.